So for this question, we're trying to work out what is the correct row for quantity and SI base unit. So if we list out the different SI base units, we have kilograms, meters, seconds, Kelvin, amps, moles, and then candela. So we can immediately eliminate some things. We can eliminate A. We know it's not going to be that because coulombs is not a base unit, SI base unit. And we can eliminate C as well, as joules is not an SI base unit. So it's either going to be B or D. So then we can think about the different equations for these two things. So for charge, Q is equal to IT. And the units for Q will therefore be, or the SI base units for Q will therefore be amps multiplied by seconds. And then we can see that B is not correct. We're left with D. That must therefore be our answer. We can go into a bit more detail as to why it is this. Again, we have to think about an equation that we could potentially use here. So if we, let's see, what would be a good equation to use? I'm going to use power is equal to work done over time. And work done is the same thing as MGH. So work done is just energy. We can use any equation for energy that we want. And I've just used gravitational potential energy. Could have used kinetic as well. That's also a good one. Um, the reason I've picked this one is because each of the individual quantities, when you break them down, will give you SI base units. And so that would be M mass would be kilograms. G, which is acceleration due to gravity, will be meters per second squared. H is distance, is height, that would be meters. And time would be seconds. And if we put all that together, we end up with kilograms, meters squared. And these two things combine to give s to the minus 3. And that is what we have here.